Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you, but before we talk about the polish, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm thinking about doing a Q&A video. Um, so if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, uh, pretty much everything is uh, on the table. You can ask me pretty much anything and I will answer it. Uh, leave a comment down below and I will, if I have enough questions from this video, I will do a Q&A. Okay, so let's get into the polish. I know I said that I was going to wait until after Christmas before I bought any nail polish, but I did um, slip up twice before Christmas, um, but for a good reason. The first reason was because Harlow & Co. had a Black Friday sale and they had their A Englands on, um, I think they were 20% off. And when it comes to A England, they're very expensive to begin with, so any money that I can save on an A England, I will. <laughs> um, so I picked up these three nail polishes right here. Um, these two are from the most recent Tennyson's Romance collection. This first purple here is Angel Grace. This was featured in my top 16 polishes of 2016. It's absolutely beautiful purple polish. I love this so much. It's got a beautiful scattered holographic running through it stunning formula like no, like normal for a england again they are expensive but they are one of the indies that is worth paying for that quality of nail polish so this is angel grace from a england and the second polish from that collection is this lovely red this is called shall be my queen this is another beautiful one coat polish um, it has a gold holog scattered holographic running throughout it this was a lovely polish to wear over the holidays because it has that Christmassy red color to it. Um, great formula, great polish. Again, A England is a wonderful, wonderful company. I do highly recommend them. So this is A England, uh, shall be my queen. And I also picked up another purpley type polish from, uh, this is from the, um, what was it called? Something Russian collection. This is uh, Waltz of the Flowers. This is a light purple, but it has a flash to it and holographic running throughout it too. It's a stunning polish. Again, formulas like butter goes on so well. Um, one coat to be fully opaque on the nails. I can't say enough about England. I, they're so expensive and I really do try to wait until a sale comes along to buy them because they are that expensive. Um, I mean, $15. Might not be a lot to you guys, but it's a lot to me to spend on one nail polish. So I can't, even though I love them so much, I know that if I went out and bought every single A England, my husband would kill me or divorce me. So I have to wait for them to go on sale or beg for my Christmas present, my birthday present or something along those lines. He did buy me the whole uh, Rosetti's Goddess collection for, I think for, my, for Mother's Day one year. Sometimes it works to beg. So this is A. England's uh, Walls of the Flowers. And the other time that I slipped up was over the L'Oreal polishes. I mentioned one of them in my top 16 of 2016. I mentioned uh, this one right here, Cobalt Indecent Indectant. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. It's got a, an accent on the cap. Uh, this is a lovely tealy blue color. This, uh, this, oh, wonderful formula. One coat, full opacity, love it. Like every one, of, every one of these polishes that I have tried has been one coat. So I don't know if the whole range, even the lighter colors are that, but every one that I have tried so far has had a one coat formula. They've been great. So I picked this up along with uh, these two as well before Christmas. Um, this is Rubis Follies. Again, I may be butchering that. I've, I've never claimed to be bilingual. Um, this is a deep ruby red. Um, I have not worn this one yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be a one coater like the other ones that I have tried from this collection. So this is Rubis Follies from L'Oreal. This is a lovely deep purple color. This is Violet Du Nuit. Violet du Nuit. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right again. Again, one coat, full opacity wonderful formula. I wore this for my works uh, Christmas party because my dress had um, a bit of a purple accent to it so I wore this with um, Aloy Meaty as an accent finger. This is a great polish. This is uh, Violet Dude 
me. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I really am. Um, from L'Oreal. And then after Christmas, I went back to Walmart and I picked up two more. Um, this deep navy blue is Blue Bleu Royale. Um, navy blue. <laughs> Again, one coat to be fully opaque in the nails. This is one of those blues though that does look black in some lights, uh, which is unfortunate. But it is again a great formula. I, I'm extremely impressed with this whole line. I could go out and buy the whole collection. I would be completely happy with it. Um, they're drugstore, so they're not that expensive. They're about um, eight dollars a bottle, so they're fairly they're fairly inexpensive. Um, so I probably will go pick up some more of them al along the line. Um, and the one that I have not tried yet is this uh, pinky color. This is called Fuchsia Palace. Again, I have not worn this one yet, but I'm assuming it's gonna be one coater like the rest of them. This, the whole line is amazing. I cannot say enough about this line. I do not generally buy drugstore polishes because I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to my nail polish. I've said that before. I like my OPI, I like my China Glaze, I like my um, Orly, I like to buy the salon polishes. But these ones, they're just so good. These could be some salon quality polishes. They're absolutely amazing. And if you can find them, go get them, because they're great. They are worth the money, for sure. Um, expect to see more of these on my channel, because they're that good. I do plan on going to pick up some more, probably after my trip, um, when I can get to the store. So this is uh, Fuchsia Palace from L'Oreal. My, le my next little shopping trip happened after Christmas. I was in uh, Sally Beauty Supply. They had all of their clearance on an extra 50% off the clearance price. So this whole thing that I'm, show, I'm gonna show you right now cost me $9 for everything. The first one is this uh, pinky purple china glaze. This is called Purple Panic. I uh, haven't worn this yet. Uh, it's more of a summer color for sure, but again, it was on the clearance rack. So I picked it up. Again, I will let you know on the formula of this one because I haven't tried it. The next one that I picked up is another China Glaze. This is beautiful. This ha is a um, red with a gold shift to it. This is called Jamaican Out. Nice plan words there. Um, this one, um, I wasn't gonna get this. I wasn't gonna get this one. I was not gonna pick it up. But when the cashier told me what my total was, I'm like, well, I'm gonna go back and get that other one because this is just ridiculous how cheap this is. So this is Jamaican Out from China Glaze. The other China Glaze that I picked up, I was shocked to see it was on the clearance bin because it is one of my favorites. This is Flip Flop Fantasy. Um, so I grabbed it for backup because it's one of my favorite neons. I figured I might need a backup of my favorite neons. So if, while it's on clearance, I'm gonna grab it. So I picked up uh, Flip Flop Fantasy. Then I picked up two OPIs. So this first OPI is The Eyes Have It. This came out in the Alice in Wonderland collection. I uh, haven't worn this yet, but it is a lovely baby blue color that I look forward to wearing in the spring because it's kind of a, you know, pastel -y spring color. So this is The Eyes Have It from OPI. The other one I picked up from OPI is also from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is What's the Hatter With You. This is just a deep purpley plum color. OPI has one of these colors in all of their collections. I probably didn't need to pick this up. I probably have a dupe of this in my own collection. But, you know, the the price on here was $3.49 and it was 50% of $3.49. So a dollar something. Like, kind of be crazy to leave this on the shelf for a dollar something. Like, it's an OPI. So this is What's the Hatter with You from OPI. And the last part of this haul is probably the most exciting part of this whole haul for me because I was so excited when I found this polish. So excited. You wouldn't believe how excited I was when I saw this polish on the shelf. This is Flip Flop Fantasy, the original formula. Okay, so the one that I picked up on clearance a couple weeks ago is the new formulation. This is the original formula. They are completely different colors, as you can see. This is more orange, this is more pink. I could not believe when I looked at the bottom of this and I saw it said flip flop fantasy. I'm like, oh, I, I almost had a freak out. I was so excited that I saw this was the original that there was two on the shelf and I got both of them because I couldn't leave them there. So now I have four bottles of flip flop fantasy, two of this formula and two of this formula, but I don't care. 
because I'm a hoarder and I have problems. But I was so, ha I was so happy to find this. You have no idea. I can't wait to wear this. Um, gonna be going in a couple a uh, couple weeks to get my feet done for my trip so I'm probably gonna take this with me I get this done on my toes because this is just the perfect color for summer perfect color for vacation so I'm gonna take this with me and get this done on my toes I can't wait to wear it so original formula flip flop fantasy two bottles <clears throat> and then the other thing that shocked me when I walked into this beauty supply shop was they had the Fiji collection. The 2017 Spring Summer collection from OPI is Fiji this year. I could not believe it was already in stores. I had no clue. I haven't even seen swatches of this collection um, anywhere. I've just seen bottle pictures. I have not seen any of the swatches. So when I saw it on their display, I'm like, oh my god, it's here. And I just the, the whole collection collectively looks great. If I had had more money on me, I would, probably would have bought more, but I picked up two polishes. The first polish, which I'm wearing right now on my nails, in case you're wondering, is this right here. This is, let me try and get this out, Super Trip Icali Fiji Stick. <laughs> I hope I'm not butchering that. Uh, this is a beautiful blue color. It's a deep blue. I love, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. Um, two coats to be fully opaque on the nails. I looked at it and I'm like, is that the same color as Rich Girls and Pope Boys? I was kind of hesitant at first, but they had Rich Girls and Pope Boys there. So I compared them and they are completely different colors. They're not even close, honestly. Actually, hold on one second. Rich Girls, this is Rich Girls and Pope Boys and this is the new one for the Fiji collection. This is way lighter than this one. So you do need both. <laughs> you do. <laughs> so this is Super Super Trip Icali Fijiistic. I hope I'm not butchering that from OPI. And the last one that I picked up uh, from the Fiji collection also is, is that a spear in your pocket? <laughs> I love the name of this. It's super cute. This is a nice tealy green, tealy bluey green color. I haven't worn this one yet. I picked it up yesterday, um, but it's a beautiful color. I'm hoping uh, a couple years ago in the Brazil collection, there was um, a color similar to this called Amazon Amazoff um, that I fell in love with the color, but it was a complete stainer. Like my hands were green for days. So I'm hoping this is a very similar color that this is not a stainer because that would be unfortunate with it being such a beautiful color. I don't know how it compares to Amazon and Amazoff. Should I go grab the bottle and we can have a quick look? Okay, so here is Amazon Amazoff. And this is, is that a spear in your pocket? So Amazon Amazoff is a little deeper in green. So hopefully this one does not steal. This one does not stain. This one does not stain because it would be unfortunate if it did because it is such a beautiful color. So hopefully I will be able to pick up some more of the Fiji collection when I get back from my trip because it is a beautiful collection and there are at least three other polishes from that collection that I want to get my hands on. Uh, so that is the end of this haul video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have been so great to me this past year. It's it's been amazing. I. Love reading your comments. I love trying to respond to everybody. I apologize if I haven't responded to you. Um, I do have, <laughs> I do work full time and have small children. Sometimes it can be difficult for me to even get a moment to sit down and film. But this getting down, getting to sit down and film today was a challenge. So I apologize for the lack of videos over the past couple of weeks. I really do apologize. Anyway, I am going to leave it there, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I was high, I was very, I was, the other one that I have not tried yet is this, um, this, um, and then I have two china glazes, uh, this first china glaze, <laughs> these are not china glazes, these are OPIs, this other one that I picked up, uh, from, from OPI, I could not, <clears throat> oh, this is my voice, <clears throat>